Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Sir Meerkat, and welcome back to the Moto Meerkat channel. I always get a bit nervous on stream that I'm going to have a voice crack when I do the good morning, because it happens a lot of time in our recording. It almost happened that time, but I managed to save it, I think, just about. How are we all doing today? I hope we're doing well. Welcome to another livery reveal stream on the channel. Just, I was like, what's that noise? I can hear my housemates are shouting in the hallway behind me. Yeah, hope we're all doing well. Here again for another livery reveal stream. Now, we've already had one today. You can look on the channel. I think it should be there now. It takes a bit to render the live stream sometimes, but you should be able to see on the channel, at least not tonight, then tomorrow, uh, the stream for the Mercedes reveal that we had earlier today. Quite enjoyed that, but it was quite polarizing, that livery, wasn't it? Uh, some people not too impressed by it. And as we saw uh, with the AMG spam in the chat as well. Thank you all for that. Do we, do we think we'll see uh, some AMG logos on the uh, on the Alpine today? Uh, <laughs> Mercedes got carried away. They started putting AMGs on all the other cars. It's like uh, <laughs> it's like in um, the Top Gear episode where... Uh, oh, is it um, Vietnam? That's it. They're in Vietnam with the bikes. And... Jeremy gets uh, the, the people that are there to spray paint uh, his bike pink. But then he goes around uh, spraying all random other bikes in the car park pink. So maybe Mercedes have done that. They've got carried away with their AMGs. They're going to go around spray painting AMG onto the rest of uh, the rest of the cars. But yeah, thank you very much for the uh, for the AMG spam there. There, everyone. But yeah, this is one of the ones I'm very, very, very excited to see. This is one of the top dogs. I reckon... This would only be second in my excitement to Aston Martin, I, I reckon. So, oh, I'm, I'm gassed. I, I'm all sorts of gassed for this. Waiting for the stream to start. It looks like it's just started. That page, yeah, just with the Alpine logo now on uh, on the Formula 1 page. So, there we go. Hopefully, that continues to load in the background. And I've got it in my ear. So, hopefully, I should be able to, uh, to hear and kind of update what's going on. And then, once the photos come out, I can stick them up on the screen. And we can go through our thoughts and, uh, and our opinions on it. Yeah, JDM, I've just seen that, yeah. Tomo F1 is streaming too. I believe he is indeed. I don't know why he's only streaming a few. Um, I don't know why he's not streaming all of them, but there we are, yeah. Uh, but I did see at the start of this uh, at the start of this stream that JW had said, only the gods, only the uh, only the top blokes. What did he say? Let's, let's not be real. Only the OGs are going to be watching this stream and not Tomo's. Yeah, they are indeed. Only the real the real top dollar geezers are going to be in here. Chilling with uh, chilling with the Moto America and the rest of the boys uh, for uh, for this livery reveal, rather than going oh, Tomo Lee Tomo. We don't we don't need him. We don't need him. No, we love him. We love him really. <coughs> hey, Jay, I can't make my mind up to watch Mirka or Tomo. It's kind of obvious where you, where you want to be. Like let's be real. Let's be real. Uh, you, you're going to get a lot more excitement, and a lot more enjoyment from this stream. You, you can barely even he barely even sees your comment in his. So what's even the point? What's even the point really? Ah. Oh. If it isn't blue and white, then it's going to be disappointing, says Scott Wilson. I feel like blue and black could be... Because obviously we've seen... So now, the Alpine... Uh, Alpine had their kind of winter testing livery, didn't they? I'm not sure if they're actually going to use it at legitimate testing. We'll have to wait and see. But that is black. Looks very nice. Kind of bit botched together, but, but there we are. Looks pretty good. Will there be black... On this car. Was that a nod to say there's going to be black on this car? Or, I mean, when we look at back at the Renault. The Renault last year was obviously black and yellow. And then had the black livery for the testing. So that's kind of where my mind is going for it. I'm assuming Alpine stuff is always blue. So I'm thinking it's probably going to be blue with black accents. Now, um, Scott, you did say you'd like blue and white. I think blue and white could look good. Or probably even maybe better. But I think it's going to be blue and black. I think it's going to be blue and black. Who keeps <laughs> Nils? Nils just keeps saying Tomo. Tomo and Among Us. What? <laughs> Hello, Nils. Um, Adam's now put Tomo. Hello, good to see you. Hello, Adam. Hello, hello. <laughs> Jacques, it's going to be completely white to represent the French flag. I like that. That was funny. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, come on, come on, come on. No, I don't, I don't think it is, sadly, going to be all white. But I think that's another one of my things for this livery. I'm pretty sure it's going to be blue and black. And somewhere on it, as like a kind of feature of the car, will be a French flag. 100%. I think it's definitely going to happen. Um, like how we see on the McLaren, of the they have the Wii Racers 1 uh, rainbow down the side pods. I feel like they could do something similar to that. That kind of design thing. 
um, on, on the Alpine car as well, which I think could look nice, especially if they've got kind of uh, black and blue colors as a base. I feel like could look nice and overlaying some brighter colors on top, such as the French flag. Obviously, we got red, white, and blue, so they could mix in quite nicely with the colors, I feel. So I think that's definitely something we've got to be, got to be looking out for and something I think is likely to be coming up, if I'm honest. But yeah, Nikki, what if you said blue as the main color? Then you can combine either black, red, or white for the details. Get the French flag. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, mate. I'm thinking all the kind of accents will be using uh, white and red, and then I think it's going to be sort of black will be, sorry, blue will be the main colour with some black accents, and then uh, a bit of red and white thrown in there as well, but that's our kind of predictions for what it may look like, we just have to wait and see, luckily, although I am quite happy that Alpine have decided to actually stick to their reveal time, and release it during the live stream, not just Mercedes, just putting it out 20 minutes before you. Fucking idiots. Anyway, I'm not gonna get <laughs> I'm not gonna get angry about that today. Um, well, actually, no, I was angry about that today, but we, we forgot about that. It's fine. Adam said it's starting. Um, I'm still on a screen that just says Alpine. Uh, I've also got no live chat, so I'm I'm gonna go with the fact that my stream is not uh, it's not either working or the correct one. Oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, no, it's come back now, but there's still no live stream. Uh, there's still no live chat even. I'm just on an Alpine logo. Can I, can I make sure that we're all kind of at the same... <laughs> I'm not missing out on this, right? <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Uh, sorry, what I said, oh my god, that is. If you search Alpine into YouTube search, Tomo's stream comes up first. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Okay, no, it's not starting. Thank god. Yeah, no, the Alpine official stream hasn't started yet, so the um, F1 one's just sat on a just sat on a picture. Cool. Thank you, Evil. Has not started. Cool. Thanks. Just making sure. Yeah. So Tomos comes up first in the search. I can see why people are choosing him over me. Then that's fair enough. But that's okay. We don't get jealous here. That's all right. We love Tomo, and we uh, we love him being there amongst the the, the F1 uh, F1 young boys. He's definitely not an F1 young boy. There we go. <laughs> I've got to scroll back in the chat. I haven't seen loads of you. Hawk has said BWT Alpine. Not going to happen, mate. BWT have signed with um, with Aston Martin, haven't they? So definitely going to be seeing that on the Aston Martin. Whether there's going to there's be any pink on the Aston Martin, though, is uh, another question entirely. But we'll deal with that on the stream when we get to it. We don't want to be chatting about that. That's way too much to get into. Jacques has said Rich Energy Alpine. I don't I don't think that's going to happen, mate. Uh, would be interesting. There we go. It's just started in my ear. I can hear I think they're doing some sort of uh, some sort of silly piece between them, as if it's live when it's not. Okay, she's started speaking. Uh, I'm going to try and listen to her and see when the car comes out. But ooh, here we go! Very exciting! Very exciting! Light blue with orange and white accents. Don't think that's going to be it, Mano. I don't think that's going to be it. I think we're definitely looking at blue and black with red and white accents, but. Hey, I could eat my tongue very, very soon. Who knows? Ah, M Mateus, I, I believe that's how I pronounce your name. Good afternoon, a hug from Brazil. Well, thank you very much, Mateus. Thank you, mate. Sending a hug straight back from the UK, bro. Tomo just got the Alpine chat disabled by telling his viewers to spam AMG in the chat. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, I've just got the fucking Among Us thing from, from Nils. My apologies, Nils, that you've just writing AMG, right? <laughs> I've only just realised that it was another way of putting AMG. No way has he got the fucking... Well, the F1 chat, yeah, isn't there. So, yeah, I'm assuming that he's done it on the F1. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. <laughs> Man's a proper influencer, having the influence to take down the official live chat. That is madness. Fair enough to Tomo. Fair enough. We're, we're civilized over here at the Meerkat channel. We don't do silly silliness like that. Xhaka, I'm missing chemistry to watch Meerkat right now. Yes, come on, Xhaka. I mean, I, I don't back people missing school, and you should get an education, but equally, I do like you being here on the Moto Meerkat stream. Thank you, mate. This isn't about Alpine, but I think Aston Martin will be a letdown, sadly. Shush, 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 please. None of that negative thoughts, Finn. Thank you very much, mate. Sam, you should make me chat mod. Not a chance, Sam. Only the meerkat pups get chat mod, I'm afraid, Sam. So if you want to upgrade to being a meerkat pup, oh no, you can't because you're in Guernsey, can't you? Unlucky, mate. I guess you'll never, I guess you'll never be one. Sorry, Sam. 
Sorry, Sam, buddy. Also, Sam, I did see, uh, if you guys uh, haven't yet seen, I just posted an Instagram like 20, 30 minutes ago uh, of a new little kind of, I don't know what you call it, because it's not a competition. It's just something I want you guys to get involved with. Uh, if you go over to my Instagram, and I needed to release it on Twitter, but I kind of forgot. I'll do that after the stream. Um, I want you guys to spice up this background. Look at it. It's boring. It's just a white wall. So I want it to be... Crazy. I want it to look really cool. I want it to be interesting photos behind me all over. So people have sent through already to an email random photos and shit and fan art and whatnot that you want on the wall behind me. Um, so yeah, make sure you go and do that. But yeah, Sam, I, I saw yours. Thanks, mate. It looks great. I'll put it up on the wall uh, yeah, soon at some point. I think next week I'll get them kind of all done. So there we go. But I'd love to anything you guys want on the wall behind me that's PG and isn't just stupid, then uh, I'll put it up on the wall behind me. So yeah, get, get involved, guys. Get involved. Yeah, Tom, I got the live chat to say, well, jeez. <laughs> Crazy. Callum, I'm on Alpine logo. I don't know if that means you are on the Alpine logo. That would be pretty amazing. Or if your money's on the Alpine logo being there, which I think is probably a certified bet at this point, Callum, mate. So, so fair enough. <laughs> ah, damn it. If it scrolls past like halfway to the bottom, it just goes all the way to the bottom. It's so annoying. <laughs> Tomo equals Alpine, apparently, lol. Hmm, there we are. No, Sam, go away, I'm asking for chat mod. What a poor intro, yeah, it, the, the stream's been a bit weak from what I've been looking at. It's all kind of just bollocks around Alpine, isn't it, really? Like, it's all just trying to, because I guess they're trying to be a new brand, but it is, it's just the Renault F1 team with a new name. Uh, let's be honest, uh, let's be honest. So laggy. I hope that's not my stream, mate. I hope that's not mine. I think I'm good. Pink, purple, lime, and black. Jesus, Shaka. Uh, I, I don't think so, mate. It's so laggy. I hope that's, again, not mine. Uh, I've got the internet plugged in through a wire, so it should be nice and fast. Oh, is their stream really buffering? Is it just me? Okay, so it's not mine. It is theirs. Yeah, yo, you're right. Oh, my God. Yeah, I've just got on it. It's buffering to shit. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I've got the same internet connection of, like, stuff coming in and going out, obviously. So I, I always think that maybe it's just me. But it's buffering to shit. It's awful. It's awful. Wow. Yeah, you're right. There we are. Yeah, madness. It is buffering to hell. This is the worst green screen ever. <laughs> Good day, sir, Meerkat, and everyone else. Hello, Fabian. Hello. Hey, everyone, says Alex. Hello, Alex. Welcome to the stream, mate. Welcome, welcome. Still waiting on this livery, just watching the uh, Alpine, Alpine stream buffer a little. Holy shit, it's really bad. Yeah, thanks for pointing out. I've only got it on like uh, quite quietly in my headset, so I can't really pick out when they're doing things. But yeah, my God, it's awful. It's terrible quality. Nikki, it's literally 5 FPS. Yeah, genuinely buffering like crazy. Madness. Buffering for everyone around the world, it seems. So, hmm, interesting. She said just before we see the car for the first time, they're going to do something. So we've still got a few minutes to go until we see uh, any indication of the livery. So they've spoken to Ocon now. Now they're going to speak to Fernando. And then we'll hopefully get to see the car. What's our thoughts on Fernando uh, entering the sport again for 2021? It seems a bit of um, maybe better late than never. But also kind of maybe he is a bit too late now. He's getting on a bit. I mean, Kimmy's kind of shown that you can still do pretty well. Um, oh, Sky Sports stream has no lag. What am I on? Oh, I'm on the Formula 1 stream. Okay. Thank you, John. I shall get up Sky Sports. But yeah, as I was saying, what do we think of, uh... Oh, they're just showing Alpine cars. Bugger off. Oh, no. I'm on Sky Sports Football. That's not gone well. Sky Sports F1. There we go. Live. Ah, yes, you're right. Um, except Ocon's still speaking. I hope it's... I think we're, no, I think we're at the right place. Yeah, I think they're going through cars and then stuff to do with Fernando Alonso. So I don't really give a shit. It's all bollocks, isn't it? Hey, there you go. No, no, he's right. Mr. John Warren, famous man in the chat, is correct. The, uh... Sky Sports F1 stream does not have any lag, whereas the Formula 1 stream does. Is it a lot behind? That's what I was wondering, because I wasn't watching. But they were just looking at new cars, but it's Ocon speaking, so... Okay, someone just said it's happening. Oh, God, I'm on the wrong stream now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. All right, I've loaded up the other one now. Oh my god, it's there. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> John, you ruined it. <laughs> Here we go. Well, the car's been shown off. We were right, yeah. Mainly black, 
with blue on top. Holy fuck. Yeah, so the, the Sky Sports stream is about five minutes behind, but... The, Al the uh, Alpine, sorry, the Alpine or the F1 stream has it on on screen, but I mean, I can barely even get a photo of it. It's so lacky. <laughs> but yeah, right. Okay, so I can kind of describe it to you for now before I get a good enough screenshot. Kind of similar to the Alpha Tauri switch between colors, although theirs is a little bit higher. So we've got, yeah, below the, oh, that's weird. Oh, I, I, I don't like it. <laughs> oh my god, it's lagging to fuck. I can barely even see it. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't like it. From first impression anyway. I'm going to wait until we can get a relatively good screenshot. Um, so I can actually put it up on the thing. But yeah, it looks pretty gross. Um, the, the, the change between the colours looks, looks pretty awful. Oh, fuck me. Right, okay, I'm going to let the... Ah! Okay, I'm going to let the stream play in the background and see if we can get a better screenshot in a little bit. What is this? This is the weirdest live stream ever. It's not live. They're 2D. It's laggy as fuck. What is this? This is so weird. Like, it's got um, closed captions, so you know it's not live. So why bother? Why not just put out the video? I, I uh, Literally, all I've learned from the Formula 1 uh, doing all these livery reveals this year is they need new people to do it. Get me, get me involved fuck's sake they all do it shit they've all fucked it up in some way so no leo i've just seen leo in the chat i actually think the black livery was better feel free to hate me no 100 percent. black livery looks way better than this way better than this just the color just looks just looks shit oh i was i was 100 percent right can i just put that out there for a second 100 percent white of black and blue with then the french flag colors being the accents it is that it exact it is exactly that uh, right, let's let it keep playing. I'm at least going to try and get this screenshot into the into the stream. But yeah, jeez. Again, there seems to be, uh, from the couple of... I can't look at the live chat the whole time. But from the couple of things I saw, it seemed a couple of people didn't really like it. Kind of same as me. And a couple of people seemed to like it a little bit. So what do you think? Let me know in the live chat. I'll come back to the live chat in just a second once I get this, uh, once I get this photo up. The Alpine A521. Oh, they're introducing us to three key people. Thank you so much. I, I th do they not realise that they should do that? Like, I know it kind of... We like them showing the car instantly, but it wouldn't make more sense if they got them in before they showed the car. But there we go. There we are. There we are. Got Davide... Davide? Oh, it's a different Davide. It must be. Right, okay, here we go. Cool. Getting the crop of the car now, chaps. Don't you worry. So, yeah, we are right. I'm trying to look at it now as I just get it up. So, they've got front wing. The insides of the front wing end plates are red, like on the uh, like on the Mercedes that we saw earlier. Right, okay, here we go. Let's get it in. So, we're going to switch over to here. So, you've got me in the beautiful corner now. Hello, one and all. And let's just chuck this Alpine in. Man's big enough, Fernando Alonso. Yeah, I, I never even finished what we were talking about earlier. Fernando Alonso. Too late for him? I don't know, really. I think he can do well, but I don't think he's going to be anything like madnessly incredible. Right, there we go. There it is, in the corner. Try and make it a bit bigger for you lot. There we go. So there we go. In the corner, there it is. I'm going to mute the guys in my ear because they're very loud now. But I still want to have it, kind of, in case you want to look at anything. Sorry, it's not the best photo. Um, yeah, not the greatest from me, I'm afraid. Um, but you can relatively see it. Uh, I don't really like the fake glistening they've done. Like, the sunlight glistens. They look weird as fuck. But obviously, that's not going to be on the car. That's just what they've decided to do for the, for the reveal. But, I don't know. It's something different, says Finn. Yes, I'm glad we have something different in the sport. Um... Jack says, there's a high-resolution video I tagged you in on Twitter. Thank you very much, sir. I'll see if I can get a higher-resolution image as we just have a look through. Yeah, Hunky Pony, a nice shade of blue. Fair. Yes, that blue is nice. Um, a very nice little shade. The, what I would say that throws me off about this car is the intertwining of the different bits that they put on. So, they've got the blue and the black. And then they've got this that little red and white sort of bit part down the side where they've got what the fuck is a sponsor map map prey map prey something like that i don't know what the sponsor is down the side on the side of the cockpit where the driver's legs go 
And then they've got like a red bit with a white slit that then doesn't really go anywhere. It's weird, man. It's really odd. The Alpine logo on the back of the car just doesn't look great. Um, that was the one bit on the black, um, the black livery, uh, like the testing livery that they had for the Alpine. That's the one thing I didn't really like about it was the Alpine logo on the back was kind of just didn't really work. Thank you, Jack. Uh, I can't seem to load anything in on my phone at the moment. So I appreciate that. Oh, wow, Jack, that is a great photo. Okay, thank you very much. I'm going to save that, and I'm going to put it on the stream. Thank you for that assistance, Jack. But yeah, it's just, it seems to be a bit higgledy-piggledy with the colours, is all. Is all I was really thinking. Oh yeah, there's some, there's some beauties out on Twitter now, aren't there? Thank you for that, sir. So we can save that, and I can, uh, I can stick that in a bit easier. Alright, it's so a JPEG small. Sometimes the computer doesn't like any file that isn't a JPEG. Let's just see. See if we can get it in. If we can't, it's no big deal. It looks... Okay, no, yeah, we can't. That's that's the other photo. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, no, I'm afraid because they're JPEG smalls. I can't add them in. Very frustrating. I don't know why. So this is what you're going to have to deal with, I'm afraid. But yeah, I'm going to get up on mine. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, well, that looks nothing fucking like what's in this stream. <laughs> what? That looks completely different. Uh, the blue is so much more out there on the renders on uh, on Twitter. So much more out there. The blue on the stream just looks a bit eh, doesn't it? Like, eh, looks okay. Okay, I might change my mind completely on this car. I might completely change my mind. Because that looks sick. <laughs> like, what? It's so weird. Haha! -ha! Yes! I found a JPEG, boys. Don't worry. Thank you for the assistance, Jack. Thank you for the assistance. You've opened my eyes to the possibility of, uh, of Twitter photos, all right? Okay, I will get to critiquing the car in just two seconds. Let's get this photo up. And uh, I've just saved it to there. Stop lying to me. I just saved it to there. Oh. I... It's there. I can see it. I don't know why it's not showing up. Oh, this is annoying. Yeah, for some reason, just doesn't want me to put this photo in. I, I don't know why. So I apologize. My streaming software says no to that today. But there we are. They're still chat. What are they chatting about now? They've been going on for ages. Yeah, on Twitter, Alpine, Alpine broke YouTube. <laughs> yeah, Alpine does seem to have kind of broken YouTube a little bit, doesn't it? Stream's awful. Yeah, it's been... I hope you're not talking about mine. Thanks, mate. I hope you're not talking about mine. <laughs> yeah, their stream. I don't know what the hell's going on. We've got 26 people in it now. Bloody hell. Hello, everyone. Ho hope you're doing well. On Twitter, Alpine have released the photos. Thank you, Maximilian. Yeah, I can't seem to get them in for some reason. Don't know why. Um, but there we are. I'll try another way. I'm going to try one more way of getting a nicer photo in before we... Uh, yeah, before we get this over. That's the, I, just can't, I can't believe that fucking Tomo basically shut down the, uh, the live chat. Tomo broke their YouTube. Poor lad. No, the Alpine stream. Oh, dear. Yeah, it's pretty fucked, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder if they know that... I don't know. I wonder, I wonder if they know what's going on and anything's really happening. Sean Bull did the final design. Okay, that's pretty cool. My phone won't even load anything. What's going on? My phone won't even load the photos in. All right, when it does, I'll get up on the stream. Awful, says Nils. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, okay. When I first saw it... When I first saw it... I was a bit like, oh, I don't know. I don't know here. But now I'm seeing the renders. Okay, this image from Jack isn't the best, but it, this could work. And if it does, then it'll look nicer in the stream than the shit screenshot I've got from the 144p stream that, uh, that Alpine have decided to do. Too much French stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, fair enough. That's actually a fair point, what you brought up there. That was just quite funny of how you, how you put that. Too, uh, too much French. Fuck, fuck off the French. Um, no, I get you what you've said there, Leo, saying it's kind of the same if Mercedes just put a fat German flag. Um, yes, I, I agree with you there, of their kind of just, yeah, 
it's a bit of a weird one. But uh, what you do have to remember is with um, with Alpine, Alpine is backed by the French government. Uh, or sorry, Renault own Alpine, and Renault were backed by the French government. So Renault are kind of, not fully, but kind of um, involved with. Uh, I don't even know what I was going to say there. I'm trying to get this bloody photo. Yeah, so Renault and the government are together. So Renault are partially funded by the government. So the government have a big say, will have a big say over stuff that happens. So that definitely would have been things with the government wanting more French stuff and to be the French brand in Formula One. So don't blame that on Alpine. Blame that on uh, the French government. But... Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Alonso GP2 stream GP2 amazing that, <laughs> that's incredible that's incredible mate right okay this is the final attempt this is it to get this photo on the stream see if my dropbox has come through it has my dropbox has pulled through there we go right let's delete this first image because it sucks and here you go, finally, the proper image that's on Twitter of the new Alpine. There you go. Okay, on that render, it looks sick. I can't lie. That looks really good. It just does. D John Boy, don't like it. No color can save that awful sponsor placement. Yeah, I'm going to get out the photos on my phone uh, if, I, if I can. Right. Overall... Okay, the colours look nice. Yeah, the blue, as we said, with the with the French flag and things, they kind of all fit in well. The Alpine placement looked a bit more bodged on the stream, but actually it looks a bit better in this in this render. Yeah, I like it now. Um I don't understand the map fray on the side, as I said earlier, with the red on the side and then with the white line. It just doesn't really work. And I would think of that white line. The white line on the side kind of matches up with the halo. So I feel like they had made like the halo white matching up with that. And then had a white line that went down into the front wing maybe. And it all kind of fitted up a bit better. It would look quite nice. But it's all a bit higgledy-piggledy. I don't think... I like the colours. 100%. The colours pop. They look really, really good. But... Hmm. Yeah, how they put the colours together is still a bit... <laughs> You've seen Evo in the chat. Still Acra Fresh spec. I, I feel that. I feel that. It is kind of, isn't it? It's a bit, um... Ah, legendary from Jack has now sent through some uh, some 4K photos. Thanks, bro. I appreciate that. I, th I hope it looks okay on the stream. Is, does the photo look good enough? Hopefully you can see it well enough on the uh, on the stream and it's looking okay. For me, that's a 10 out of 10, says Maximilian. Bloody hell. Mate, 10 out of 10. That's a biggie. That's a biggie. I would not put it at 10 out of 10. I think looking at the renders now of what I've seen, I'd probably say it's it's pretty up there. It's a good one. Um, I don't understand what John's saying about the the, the, the logo placement. The Alpine on the side doesn't look great, but like it's not like awful. Um, the cash draw sponsorship, yeah, yeah, they are a bit shit. They're not that great. The rear wing looks awesome. The rear wing with the French flag and the Alpine logo and that. Nice, looks really good. Then move, then onto the rear, like the Alpine, yeah, with the, yeah, uh, eh, eh, the back of the car's a bit eh, isn't it? Um, it's the blue, honestly, the colour pops it out. The design is just a bit, I think they could have done a bit more, maybe. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit eh, on both sides of this one, really. I can see the positives, I can see the negatives. I'm more, and it's more on the side of, so what we had with the Mercedes this morning was kind of of, there was so much going on that I wasn't really quite sure if I think it was good or bad. Whereas this is kind of, there's not really enough thought got into it. It's kind of just colours. Um, so I think maybe it could have been better if they had been a bit more interesting with it. But Bot Productions, <laughs> oops, I was late. But that's, that is amazing. 10 out of 10 from me. Fair enough. Thank you, Jack. Yeah, I saw the 4K resolution photos, mate. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Let me change the formula, Jason. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Hello. Hello. <laughs> there are positive and negatives, but for me, the positives overrule the negatives, says Racing Fan. Yeah, I would I would probably say overall, I like it and I like the colours, but they could have done a little bit more, in my opinion. 
So let's, okay, right. I'm going to get to my kind of ranking out of 50. So if you haven't seen um, previously, also, okay, no, I did want to say, I've already shouted out my art competition. So make sure you go to my Instagram to, uh, to get involved with that. But I also wanted to shout the big man himself. John Warren, I believe he's in the chat still, has just hit 30,000 subscribers. That is a huge bloody number. So huge congrats to John. He is now officially, according to some article that we've seen on the internet, officially a celebrity. So there we go. Big up the celebrity in the chat, Mr. John Warren. Nice one, lad. But anyway, let's go. Oh, uh, yeah, make sure you stick in the chat. Big well done to, uh, to J-Dub, our boy. Let's get on to uh, reviewing the car. So, yeah, if you didn't know, on all these streams so far, I've ranked each new livery out of 50. Uh, so there's five different things that I rank out of 10 and then they obviously make the make the full number So we go off the use of color the sponsor logo placement the general style of the car the on-track presence like how mean it looks and then the race salutes sash team wear Managed to get that out of my mouth just about the ra the team wear looks sh like pretty dull that, that, that uh, Esteban was watching Hugh, they nicked the Toro Rosso livery. They, they, they come in a little bit, didn't they? They kind of did. And the, I've managed to, I've got Fernando a lot to do. There's my screen now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. The team wears boring. It's just black. It's just black with sponsors. It's dull as fuck. Right. It's more like PowerPoint. <laughs> True. The whole stream was a bit like PowerPoint slideshow, wasn't it? It wasn't really a video. It was more of a slideshow. Right. So let's begin. The use of color. Best so far. Best so far, I've got to say. Um, it absolutely pops. Absolutely pops. All the colours on that look sweet. I like that the colours are off the French um, flag as well. And the blue, black and red just works. Then with the white kind of accents with the Alpine logo. Works. Just looks really good. I'm going to say for use of colour, best one yet. I'm going to go with a 9. On just the, the, the numbers, like the colours that are used. The, the shade of blue is sexy. Um, contrast with the shade of red, just just good, just all round good. Nine out of ten for me on the use of color. Now, sponsor logo placement, maybe not its best part of the car here. Uh, I like, as I said earlier, really like the Alpine uh, logo of just sort of the text logo on the rear wing, and also on the end plates of the front wing looks pretty nice as well. Um, so a couple of positive ones, but then a couple of not so positives. The Alpine logo on the back. Um, I feel like that could have been done really well, and it's almost nice, but there's just something that I, I don't really like about it. It's not out there enough. I feel like the, the Alpine logo should be more obvious. So I don't know. Maybe if they could have done the white accent on the back and then had the Alpine logo in red, maybe? But that kind of wouldn't then fitted. So I don't know how I'd change it to make it better, but I can still have the opinion of not thinking it's quite right. Alpine logo across the side pod is a little bit out of place. I feel like just a normal... Brand would look better there. Alpine's a bit too much there. Uh, then they've got Renault E-Tech engine. Why is that randomly on the airbox on top? Why is that not like across the top? It's just kind of like randomly there. Same with Castrol a bit. So overall sponsor logo placement is not really the best. There's a bit too much of Alpine. I know they're trying to get this new brand out there and sell some more of their supercars, but it's a bit too much. And then where they've placed the other ones, just a bit shit. And the Map Frey logo with the red. I'm going to, I'll leave the red on my style verdict, but uh, Jesus. So uh, the logo placement is not the best. Um, I'll probably go with a six. Oh my God. I put 5.5 for, uh, for Mercedes. I know that had the AMG to be fair, which was a bit of a monster. So I think maybe six on that. There's some positives and some negatives, but not amazing. Then style. This is where this thing is going to fucking drop. Style. It's just not there. It's just not there. It's just boring. It's boring. It's boring. It's boring. It's boring. I'm sorry. It's boring. It is dull. And what they've tried to do to spice it up a bit, they've failed miserably with the introduction of the red and the on the side of the cockpit. Oh, I can't get my head over that. If that wasn't there, if that was blue, it might look quite cool. Oh, but it just looks shit. Style, I would say. I like the Alpine styling on the back, but I think they could have made it better. And then the other, the rest of the styling car sucks. So I'm going to go with a three and a half on the style. That's going to bring it down quite tremendously. Uh, because, yeah, that looks shite. Then generally on track presence. I think will be good with the blue. The blue does 
stand out nicely with it being quite a fluorescent, quite a vibrant blue. But, <laughs> I can't believe I just said blue like that. <laughs> We've been doing the fucking, um, have you seen the TikTok thing? Or it's not, it's just, it's just got big on TikTok. Um, where people have taken the interview with Boris Johnson of him going, um, well, I'm telling about the red passport's changing to blue. And he's like, no, but you will get a beautiful new blue passport. <laughs> so I just said blue in that, uh, in that way. Yeah, now, now you get why I did that. Um, yeah, on track presence looks good. The blue looks sweet, but overall, I don't think it's quite going to have the intensity like the Mercedes did earlier. The Mercedes looks sick, and I gave that a nine for on track presence. But this, the color will look good, but overall, doesn't really have any outstanding features, particularly to make it yeah really really out there on circuit. So I reckon a bog standard sort of six will uh, will work in for there. Uh, I'd give a six and a half to the Red Bull, so I feel maybe a six is, is too mean. Possibly a seven. Up there with the McLaren, yeah, I gave the McLaren a seven. So we'll give it a seven. We'll be nice to the Alpine. And then the race suits and team wear. I haven't seen a race suit yet. I'm going to quickly check on Alpine's Instagram just to 100% double, triple check that they haven't re haven't uh, released one of them in their race suits. Because if they have, then I'll look like a bit of a dingus. No, they haven't. I've just seen the team wear, which was all black with sponsors. So boring. But I don't dislike it. So it's going to have to go with a four and a half. I was going to say five, and then I was going to say four. We'll, we'll, we'll go in the middle of the two. Because, um, yeah, equally, I don't. Di there's nothing to dislike. It's just black. So if they had been able to do sort of uh, black and then with maybe red and white accents, ignoring the blue, because the blue was mainly on the car, that could look really good. But there just isn't really enough, is there? It's a bit dull overall with that but uh but yeah <laughs> alpine savage new blue car <laughs> oh my god that's it i've just thought of my new tiktok <laughs> i'm gonna write that down nice okay, okay. <laughs> i just thought of my new tiktok i have to wait and see uh you have to wait and see that one to come out but there we go that's kind of my thoughts and opinions on the on the uh, new Alpine car, the whatever the fuck it was, uh, A521. What did I give it out of 50? Let's add these up. What have I given it? 15, 22, 26, 29, 30 out of 50. I think that's my worst, yeah, that's my worst upfront overall. I think this Alpine car had some very strong points. Overall, just the color, like the colors look sweet, but there were just too many bits that let it down. Uh, how they've implemented that color isn't great. The sponsors wasn't brilliant. Um, just the general over, like style of the car wasn't anything to really shout home about. And then the team wear was pfft, sucked. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed today's stream, looking at this Alpine. Uh, another two today to check off the list, the Mercedes and the Alpine. If you haven't seen the Mercedes stream, make sure you go over to the channel and uh, give that a watch and see my thoughts on that too. Uh, obviously, going to have loads more this week. We've got three more left this week. So we've got, I believe, tomorrow is the fateful day. It is indeed. Tomorrow, the Aston Martin livery reveal is going to be fantastic. Make sure you tune in to watch that tomorrow. And then we've got the Haas one on Thursday and the Williams on Friday. So you're not going to want to miss any of those. Make sure that you subscribe to the Moto Meerkat channel so you don't miss out on, uh, on any of the streams. You'll get notified as to, when, uh, as to when I upload, when I stream, when I do all that jazz. But yeah, as I said at the start, I've got a new kind of, not competition, but thing to get involved with over on Instagram. So at Moto Meerkat on Instagram, make sure you go over and get involved with that as well. But otherwise... I think that's all for me today. An interesting stream, an interesting new car added to the 2021 grid. And fantastic to see a new kind of brand being involved, even though it is just Renault with a new colour. But we'll forget that and uh, we'll enjoy seeing the car out on track. Yeah, I think it's all going to, I think my opinions may change a little bit once they finally do get out on track. And uh, they always look different in the sunlight, especially just to the renders. It's all we've seen, so it could look completely different in the, in the sunlight with the colours and whatnot. But either way, I've had a good time looking at it, and I hope you have as well. Thank you very much for watching another stream on the Moto Meerkat channel. And I will see all of you tomorrow for that Aston Martin stream. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Otherwise, I'll see all of you Meerkats later. Goodbye, guys. Ciao.